In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Steph Curry and his off-ball movement. If you are looking to have a higher basketball IQ like Steph Curry, this is definitely the video to help you score more points and, of course, find open areas on the court. Let's get down. Let's check out Steph Curry. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is he is driving towards the rim and he understands not to go up for the shot because, of course, he's got literally four players around him. He needs to kick this ball out to somebody. From there, after he drives, he kicks that ball out and he doesn't stop moving. He is constantly moving. He is moving towards this direction. This player knows that he needs to get out of the way. It's part of their offense. However, by Steph Curry continuously moving, he's able to get to that open spot even when there's a double team chasing him. Now the same thing happens here. When he's driving towards the rim, he's able to gather a lot of different eyes on him as we can see here literally the whole Toronto Raptors are looking at him we see a player who's able to then of course find an open area of the court he's able to get that ball but look at Steph Curry now everyone's eyes are on the ball once again Steph Curry is able to continue out towards that wing this player is able to come down towards his main defender set that screen so Curry can hit that three in the corner. Now this is amazing off-ball movement. Essentially, after you drive, don't just stand in the baseline, move, find an open area or create an open area and make your teammates move. We see here when he drives towards the rim, again, kick that ball out and then after he kicks that ball out, he goes towards the corner. It's part of the offense. We need to continuously have our players move off ball and because Clay Thompson is a attacking the key we have another player who looks like green attacking the key as well they're able to find curry in the corner wide open this is also a very good point which is if you can attack the key with not just yourself but multiple players on your team you can really collapse that defense into the key and kick out for easy three-point shots now watch this pass into clay thompson after he passes that ball, he cuts towards the rim. Of course, we have a screen for Curry here, but he's curling back in. And then, watch what happens. We have Klay Thompson attacking the key, drawing multiple players' attention. We then have Steph Curry slowly move back out towards that three-point line. And of course, he is wide open now for that three-point shot. Even when you pass that ball into the key, don't just stand there and do nothing and watch your teammate go to work on the low post. Go from the wing down to the corner and watch what happens to your defenders. See if you can get open shots like that. Here we see it again. Pass. Use that screen. Always have players moving off ball. He uses that screen. He goes to the opposite side of the court. He then, of course, uses Igudala as another pin down. And now he's popping out for a three. Use your teammates. Always have an offense that's constantly moving. Here he sets essentially a brush screen away. And he's wide open because here he sees that, hey, both of these players are following the player I didn't even screen for down towards the net. I'm going to pop out for a wide open three. Okay, so here we see Steph Curry using JaVale McGee as a screen. He then attacks that rim and kicks that ball out to the opposite side of the court because nobody is guarding that player. Steph Curry doesn't just stand in one spot. He is hopping around trying to find an open area. He finds one. At this point in time, he heads out towards that, that corner. Now keep in mind, if you drive... This is a fantastic spot to be because you can have a different perspective of the court. At this point in time, you can see what your player is doing and then you can react accordingly. Which side is better? Should he pop out to this side or should he pop out to this side? Well, guess what? Ginobili is paying attention to him, which means that those players there should be able to screen for Ginobili. Popping out here will just have Ginobili pop out as well, which means that he goes to the opposite side. Ginobili can't keep up, and he's able to, of course, hit that wide open three. Now, this is a fantastic five out or even four out, technically speaking. We have somebody in the Russian spot, but either way, um, from there, he kicks that, he drives, he kicks that ball out. We see the corner player moving up towards the wing. Always off ball movement. Curry goes out back to that corner that's wide open and, of course, drains the three. 
So here he uses that screen, he attacks the rim, he kicks the ball out, he then continues out towards that wing, watch his footwork, he knows that that player is overplaying that side, he has all of his weight on that left foot, he pushes off, goes right left into his shot, and of course drains that and one. Footwork is also very important too. So as soon as you pass that ball, find an open area of the court, cut or just find an opening, talk to your teammates. That's going to allow you to be able to get open more often in games, and it's going to help you also be able to just get more points just magically. You can easily score an extra five to 10 points a game just by moving around. If you are active on offense, if you see that your defender is not paying attention to you, cut back door on them. It's going to really help. I hope that this video has helped you. If it has, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.